All right, coming up next, we get to this lightweight tilt between Tony Ferguson and Conor McGregor. All right, here we go. Round one, Tony Ferguson versus Conor McGregor. Hard to know what Tony's gonna do early, late in the fight. Your thoughts on what's in front of McGregor tonight? You never know what Tony Ferguson's gonna do because I don't think Tony Ferguson he does knows what he's about to do when he steps foot in the octagon. But what I do know is he is an absolute killer. And if Conor McGregor doesn't set the pace early, he's gonna find himself getting ran over by El Pacu. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Whoa! Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Oh, boom. Boom landed. Oh! Slips to avoid that left. How about that shin? Leg kick thrown. Big. Oh! He's a target. He's hurt bad. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast paced opening round here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Back to his feet. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Big all punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by McGregor. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do next. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Ferguson's attempting a knee bar. Caution, flammable. Nice hammer fist. Oh, nice. Oh, he's got it isolated. Now he falls off to the side. Oh! He tried to adjust his lock over the top to put pressure on his opponent's knee. Great. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. Oh. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, here we go with our second five minutes now. Round, round two, two. Ready? Ready? Tony Ferguson. Let's go, guys. Fight. And Conor McGregor. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Beautiful punch. Oh! Oh! Makes it there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Ferguson gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. So 30. Oh, huge right hand! You can 
control him. Stay sharp, stay sharp, don't get cut. A lot of top pressure being wow. applied here. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He should take his back, pull his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out. Just go for it. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down there. Just misses with the jab. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Very tricky when he throws that body. Hook is there again. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... So there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And it's gonna be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in, 